Good morning. Happy Monday. <sighs> Monday morning traffic is not the one. driving for like an hour and a half but I'm still not awake <laughs> oh. you know when you just drive and you get to your destination you're like I can't really remember anything that I've just done <laughs> but it's, yes there's a space thank you universe My neighbours who have the cat have taken the cat. I saw the, I think they're brother and sister. I saw the brother moving out on Saturday. Um, and now the cat, they used to have like this cat seat that attached to the window, which meant they could never shut their blind properly. And now their blind shut properly. So I wonder if they've moved out. But there's not a for sale sign. I'm going to have to look on Zoopla. <laughs> no, for rent, because the woman around the corner owns it. Okay. I was cheating on, cheating on, cheating on. Oh, God. Okay, come on, Lauren. Let's start the day. I look, like, I look like a cone head. <laughs> Who remembers that film? I am cold, which is silly because I shouldn't be wearing, I haven't got anything under my hoodie for some reason. Um, that's too hot to drink. I'm working hard, but I'm half asleep. Uh, <sighs> oh, that's quick. I've ordered some shopping. Sydney is on his way. You don't normally hear that word, do you, Sydney? It's a cute name for a cat. Because it's, 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 um, unisex name okay I don't know what I'm doing I'm just literally just my mum is not answering she's ignoring me I am gonna go for a swim shortly because I would like to go tonight but I've got counselling tonight and there is aqua on and I don't know how counselling is gonna be so I don't want to plan to go afterwards because it will be late and I'll be knackered. So, um, yeah, I've just bought some food and, uh, <sighs> Oh my God, my, my shopping got here really quickly taking my keys so I don't knock myself out. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. 
Thanks. Hi. Hi. I'm here to put up a piece of Oh, okay. Another one. <laughs> um, you don't need letting in then, so you just can do it here. Yeah, just that. Okay, cool. Thanks. I'm here to put up a piece of This is a great angle for me, isn't it? frozen sugar I bought these um, some chucky potatoes and I thought that they were refrigerated but they're actually frozen and I don't have any room in my freezer who wants four jacky potatoes for lunch that's a joke but also um, Baby spinach. Then mushrooms. So I, this week I really want to focus on like eating more veg, just more rather than less of anything, just more. So I've got a broccoli, some blueberries, Greek yogurt, because I want to start doing yogurt bowls in the morning, carrots, sugar snap peas, tomatoes, Ma two mangoes that are on special offer ready to eat and I also got a lime because if you've ever had mango with lime lime juice like squashed on oh, amazing cucumber ow sourdough most of this stuff was on offer uh, some gnocchi olives, garlic and herb filly, barbecue chicken skewers, they're a lot smaller than I thought they'd be, bananas, <laughs> truffle butter because this was like on special special offer. Use by the 30th of the 3rd of the 2nd. That's five days. Oh well. I have it on my jacket potatoes. Um, Caesar dressing, which looks basic, but. Ugh. Hummus and a cheese mix. Four cheese mix. So in this pup, I'm glad that I could get this delivered today because it didn't deliver on Friday, which was annoying because it's a box and I don't have a bell. So it's my hotel chocolat. So wait, I'm just going to rewind. My friend Maggie has a velvetizer. You know, the Hotel Chocolat velvetizers, which make amazing hot chocolate. Now, this one had something wrong with the lid. Now, it works completely well, but...
I think it's the key. I think it's the key safe man banging. So the velvetizer, she had this one and something happened with it where the lid didn't completely close, which made it still work fine. And she wanted another lid, but they wouldn't give it to her. Anyway, long story short, they sent her a new velvetizer. So she gave me this one. Um, and she also, for my Christmas present, and she also got me, um, you can get like, uh, all the flavors. So there's mint. Yeah, all you do is put a sachet in with milk and it just makes it into an amazing hot chocolate. So I've got a chili, salted caramel, vanilla white, ginger, amazing. So yeah, I've got these. But the other day I was influenced by Sophie Hagen on their Instagram. They posted that Hotel Chocolat, not sponsored in any way, do. Everything coffee. So they're single, they're, they're expensive. Yes, they're expensive, but YOLO. <laughs> so now I've got caramel mocha latte, normal lard, hazelnut mocha latte, bought something else. What colour? I thought I bought something else. Basically, this is all the coffee chocolate it's, uh, ones. So now I'm fit for ages. Cafe Mocha Latte. Amazing. So, yeah. We can do one later after I sort out my blooming freezer situation. I need to do this. Okay, it's so the one at the bottom. Do it on the other side. Oops, I need a <clears throat> way. Perfecto. Strong independent woman right here. Do you want to see my freaking freezer? Okay. Oh, I've got coleslaw to eat. I forgot about that. Look at this. This is my sodding freezer. Oh. Yum. Go by that. Ugh, that's clear glass. Clear ice. That's weird. Isn't it? Keep frozen. If thawed, do not refreeze. Oh my god, they're literally just bare. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't bare. Okay, I'm gonna do what any sensible person would do and grab a knife and try and...
Don't mind that. <laughs> um. There's me telling mum that I'm going to go for a swim, but really, I'm defrosting my freeze freezer. to get oh, my hairbrushes in the car I need to get another one of these serums for my gym bag so that I can do my hair at the gym because obviously I've dried it but it would be really nice to put the serum on it Like, I don't have a heat protectant or anything. I used to, but I don't know where it went. Lovely. Anti-frizz. <laughs> Not sponsored. <laughs> if you didn't see my last video, I got this in Tesco. It's the Leo Bancroft Serum, £2.70. Like, last week, so... Those are like 90s prices. <laughs> and it's good. So, well, says the girl who never actually uses serum on her hair. But I think it's good. And when you squirt it out, it comes out in one drop. Because you know sometimes when they say, put two drops on your hair and then it like shoots out. <laughs> I can't measure it. Lovely. All ready now for me to put it up in a bun. to wash those. I need to eat some lunch. <sighs> My lunch got, looks quite fancy, but it's really not. Well, it looks fancy to me because it's not pasta. Um, I just wanted like a picky, crunchy lunch. So I've got cut up cucumber, um, cucumber, <laughs> carrot, and I've put some hummus here and I sprinkled on some smoked paprika, don't you know? Mmm. Stuffed olives, sugar snap beans, peas and some of these chicken things. Now, to me, my head says, well, this isn't a meal because there's no bread here. So I'm gonna eat this. And if I want bread after, I'll have bread. Um, but yeah, oh, I love sugar snap peas. Mm. Oh yeah, and this is some, um, Caesar dressing. I feel all fancy. <laughs> Check and I can I can get this in the bin. With my left hand. Yeah, I can get it in the bin. Oh yes. <laughs> she shoots. She scores. Okay, I've plucked just plucked my brows. 
This is something I do about twice a year. <laughs> um, I'm starting to get grey ones in there. So yeah, I've just done that. And then next, I'm going to use this tattoo brow that I got in my wish list at Christmas that I've not yet used. So, some one of you said to put it on. Oh no. To put it on thicker than you think. Because if it's too thin, it's hard to pull off. Oh my God. <laughs> hey Google, set a 20 minute timer. Finished. <laughs> One of you actually sent me a tip for this in the my Instagram DMs, but I've completely forgotten what it was. Excellent. Well, they're not even, are they? Ooh. And now we wait. Okay, so we've had 20 minutes. Oh, my alarm just went off and I'm glad I put one on because the time just flew by, right. It's... <laughs> In the thing, you just pull it. Oh. Oh. Oh, hello. Huh? Oh. Ooh. Raise your hand if you didn't think it would be that good. Me. <laughs> okay, let's. I think that tip that I, that I should have put it on thicker than thinner was the one I was talking about that somebody mentioned in my uh, DMs. Ooh. So I left it on for 20 minutes. Stop. And then I did a second timer because I forgot I did the first one. Well, I'm impressed. <laughs> I know I should probably like cleanse them, but I'm impressed. Love it. <laughs> And I've just got to get rid of all my eyebrow bits. <laughs> nice. I'm going to make a coffee. So it's quarter to five and it's still not dark, which is lovely news. Lovely, lovely news. Um. Oh. I feel like I've got so much more room. It's amazing. Even with this blooming thing here. Oh. What one shall I have? I'm going to have caramel mocha latte. Oh, it's just like chocolate in there. And all you do is like you fill it up with milk. Oop. Up to the max 
wax line. Then Oh my goodness, it's literally just chocolate in there. I'm just gonna pour it in. Put that on. And it's going. Exciting times. Well, good thing that this will last me for many years. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take the mug. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I need to taste it. I need to taste it. I don't even care if it burns me. Oh my god. Bloody hell. I mean, I think it'd be better with dairy or a not soya. Oh, but it's so thick. Wow. 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 Hi. Morning. My neighbour in the night has moved out and has left some stuff outside the house. Now, there was something I wanted earlier and someone's already taken it. Well, I wanted to have a look at it at least. So now I'm getting ready quickly so I can go and have a look at the goodies. <laughs> my goodies, my goodies. Is that Kiara who sung that? Sierra? Sierra, not Kiara. rug. Oh, it's been raining. I'm just going to take this pot. I don't need it, do I? I don't need it. I've left it. I don't need it. I've left it. Okay. So Christmas last just gone, which feels like a five years ago, was not a conventional Christmas at our house. My brother was ill. It was meant to be my brother, my sister-in-law, my niece, Bump, my mum and dad and me. But um, 
my brother, they were all ill. So that meant well, we didn't do Christmas. And then when I, then they had a Christmas when I wasn't well. <laughs> so my mum and dad and me still haven't um, swapped presents. So I just got my presents um, on the 30th of Jan. It felt a bit weird, to be honest, but I gave them my presents and they gave me mine. And I thought I'd do a little, what I got for Christmas, um, haul. So I got some delicious Clipper Sleepy Tea. Extra dark chocolate Lindor. The best Lindor. <laughs> now this is my favorite body wash that um, discontinued. So mum found it. I mean, I think this might be Polish. Maybe it's Russian actually, because it says RA, Netherlands, or it might, I don't know. But if this is your language and you know, let me know. But it is um, ginger and berry. And it's really good. It's like, um, it's like a spicy berry. It's men's, but as I said, they discontinued it. Oh, it's so good. Yeah, spicy berry, um, like a musty spicy berry. So I got three of these <laughs> because it's discontinued. So mum stocked up for me. <clears throat> more some conditioner some oral b heads for my toothbrush two nail varnish which are completely opposite colors it's so cool so we've got an amazing these are both nails ink this gorgeous blue which is called Longing for Leicester Square. And then this one, Naked in Neon, Night Riders Street. Nice. And then this present was from my dad when he went to uh, Dubai. He got me um, a sketching set. So some pencils, they've got like, uh, the brown pencils and charcoal and um, chalk. So that, which just smells amazing. And well, it smells like pencils in a tin. Do you remember that, that smell from school? Uh, and a sketchbook. He was like, you, I got you a small one so you can just have it in your bag. And um, you can just, you know, get it out and draw if you want to. Yeah. So that's my Christmas. <laughs> Yay. In this cool bag. Lovely. Oh, and I also got some truffle marmite. Uh, truffle marmite and truffle oil, <laughs> which I got in my stocking for Christmas and some tangerines. Perfect, if you ask me. <laughs> anyway, I must now stop pretending that my hair doesn't look amazing and um, get on with some work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it smells so good. Yeah, sorry, I dropped you. No, it's fine. Red onion chutney. Oh, no. Caramelised. I'm not sure if I like caramelised. Really? It's the sweetness for me. Yeah. I can see why people like it. Yeah, I like the mix. Mm. As a different layer. Hello, hello. I am going to do my makeup because I'm going to dinner with Abramo.
and oh my PMS is so bad today like my moods I think my period is due in like two days and I can just feel like the angst you know what I'm gonna move your place so you'll sit it more here oh I thought that the tattoo brow would stay for longer because I only did that yesterday. Did I go swimming? No, I went swimming before I did it. My brows are still darker than they would be without it. Yeah, I'm not in a good mood. I'm gonna... <laughs> Well, I am, but I just don't want to film, so I'll see you on the other flip side of this face. I'm not going to change. <clears throat> I'm going to say wear the same leggings. Whew. But I am going to put on a hoop. Yeah, these ones. I did a blue blue liner. I think it's okay for me to wear leggings. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah. We're only going to a um like a casual noodle bar. I think that's where we normally go. I don't think we're going anywhere different. Well, even if we are, I don't care if I'm underdressed. Uh, um, I'm hungry. Um, all that stuff that my neighbour left, left outside has all been taken. I think it, it was either people taking it, like randoms, well, randoms walking past, or the council have come and just like taken it all. Um, and throwing it all into their big truck because that's what they do sometimes. Cutain. You de Nice. Lovely. Nice. Okay, let's go. And there's me not filming anything of my evening. <laughs> Just the drive home after we've finished it all. Um, yeah, as always, it was a lovely, amazing evening. Uh, we had chicken satay, skewers, vegetable spring rolls, and I had spicy... So this is a Thai restaurant we go to. It's called Spicy Basil, and it's in Kilburn. And... I ask for spicy, spicy garlic noodles, and I had them with prawns, but I asked for, I asked for no spice, so no chili. So it's basically just um, garlic noodles. <sighs> garlic noodles. And it's got like a sort of black bean sauce on. Um, and they're like thin, flat noodles and they're just so good. I mean, there was nearly a fight. Well, a guy came in and then a couple of other guys took his seat without him. Anyway, and the, there was just a, there was an atmosphere and I was like, something's gonna kick off. So then we left. <laughs> you know, typical lovely dinner in Kilburn. Is there gonna, is there gonna be a space? <laughs> Happy Wednesday. 
it's the 31st of January today and I did my tax return last night. <laughs> <laughs> not me being all proud that I didn't do it on the very last day. That's the annoying thing. That's why I didn't do YouTube for so long. Because I was like, I can't be dealing with the stress of a tax return. And that is true. I was like, I don't want to earn money. Because I don't want to have to pay tax. But hey, here we are. I love you guys. So, you're welcome. <laughs> so, this morning, I am working from home today. Um... And I've been sitting, um, sorry, Mr. Santa's out there. Ooh, he's pouring water into a, into the drain. Um, he just kissed Mrs. Santa goodbye for work. Every day they have a little kiss goodbye. Anyway, um, I'm sitting here listening to Classic FM, which I do normally in the mornings. And it's not the normal presenter, or they're two normal presenter. It's either that guy who does Pointless, the main one, can't remember his name, or this other guy who I also can't remember his name, but it's someone else and I don't like him. I don't like the vibe. He's not as soft as those two. Anyway, I'm sitting here with a breakfast. Um, as I was talking about last week, I want to just eat a different, different things rather than my same two things I go to every day, like toast or bagel for breakfast. I'm trying different things. So this morning we've got this that looks absolutely disgusting. It's Greek yogurt with, um, I actually got Special K, but that's because I got them free with the delivery service I use for food. Because I had some points and they were like, you can have Special K. I was like, that's weird. So <clears throat> Special K, blueberries, sorry, yeah, Greek yogurt from um, uh, Morrison's, well, Morrison's via GoPuff, because that's who I order my shopping with that gets delivered to my door. Um, I wouldn't generally shop in Morrison's because I don't like it. Anyway, Greek yogurt from Morrison's, blueberries, Special K, banana, and then on top of that, I've put some cinnamon and some milled chia seeds. <laughs> You know, just to get a different plant into my stream, into my body. Because uh, I watched a video from my friend Mel, Melanie Murphy, last week. And she was talking about how um, she aims, it's like a thing now, she aims to like eat 30 plants a week. And I liked that idea of just <clears throat> not taking it to the extreme with my obsession my obsessive personality one sec but just but just opening my brain a bit and uh yeah chia is a different plant so i've got one two three four four here cinnamon's a plant right um and then i've got a coffee so that's five way um I need to eat my mango today and that's exciting. So we'll do that as a snack at some point. Um, that's another thing I said to mum, I need to work from home today because I've got so much food. Because I did a shop and I don't want to keep having to go to hers because <gasps> I won't eat this for dinner. I don't want it to go off. So here we are. And now uh, it's a new dawn, it's a new day and I'm feeling good. Hi, hi, welcome to a new a new dawn, a new day. Oh, this is my, <laughs> this is my ridiculously big bottle of soy sauce. Um, because I just got back from a swim and uh, it's about 3 p.m. and I'm really ravenous, as they would say in the dictionary. Um, and I was driving home and I was like, what do I want to eat? Obviously nothing at home. And I was like, I fancy fish, I fancy tuna, but then I didn't have any mayo, so I was like, well, I can't, well, I could just have tuna. Not just tuna, but tuna surprise. Um, and then I was like, oh, there's a little place around the, around the corner from me that does sush like fresh sushi. It's like a little local, local shop. 
um, and they do, they've got a fresh sushi, sushi bar there. So I know, I'm trying not to judge myself. I know it's, uh, what's the word? Extravagant for lunch. Who cares? I got a lunch. I got, to be fair, for this, it's actually really good value, I think. 7.75 and you get loads of tuna. Um, it's tuna power bowl, brown, brown rice quinoa. So you've got avocado, pickled ginger, crispy onions. Um, seaweed, oh, there is wakami salad in there. Cucumber. So that looks really good. And then I also got a, um, some kimchi because I've never had kimchi and I know it's really good for you because it's fat fermented. <laughs> oh, um, and then I got a wakami salad as well because you can't have enough of this stuff in my opinion, in my humble, correct opinion. My swim is just really good. Uh, Mmm. So what is kimchi? Is it cabbage? That's funny. It says kimchi. These are the ingredients. Kimchi, Chinese cabbage. Yeah, Chinese cabbage. Carrots. Waitrose and partners Asian pear. Radish. Spring onions. Garlic, ginger, chilli. Yakuta miso paste. Rice, salt, kelp, and spring onions. Oh, it smells really good. Oh, just looks like this. I mean, it looks not great. I thought there was chili. Oh, no, there is chili in this. I think I had kimchi once, but I didn't like it. It looks like skin, so that's good. Oh, that's strong. Oh, oh, nice. That will oh, spicy. Let's try the brown rice, the brown rice quinoa. Mmm. Yum. Hello. I'm impressed. And. Um, I didn't have my purse with me to buy it and I only had contact contactless on my phone and my phone was at 1% battery. So I was really, um, yeah, I was just praying that my phone wouldn't die whilst I was looking at the sushi. Because <laughs> that wouldn't have been good because I wouldn't have been able to pay for it and I would have had to just come out empty handed. Um, and then I shut my hair in the door of the car and here's a picture of that. So, yeah, onwards and upwards. <laughs> the neighbours have moved out opposite because there's people going in now um, with a ladder to do some DIY. Who will move in next? <laughs> Who have I had? Actually, no, there's only been, in that flat, there have only been two people, two different types, types, two different lots of people <clears throat> two guys with lovely uh, window baskets with flowers in and then that brother and sister i think they were brother and sister um duo very boring not ha not not um not um <clears throat> courteous the amount of times I'd smile at them in the street and they'd be like, I am blind. No, they weren't blind. I've just had breakfast. <clears throat> and mango. And I had it in a glass because I did the mango peel trick where you slice a bit off and then you run it down the side of the glass, but the skin is out. And it just... Um, it slides into the glass. It's a lot colder than I thought it would be. Um, I really hate the colour of this top. It depresses me so much when I have it on myself. 
I feel like it just drains me. I love the style and the design. I love that so much. But, get across the road, thank you. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, the color. I think it's the gray in the pink that just really like, ugh. So this one is from Decathlon. Um, I actually have the same one in maroon, but I think it's a smaller size. So we'll go home and try that on and see how that feels. Because my mum wants this. I said to her, I don't want this anymore. And she said, bring it over. So um, I'm gonna bring it over. <laughs> you know, you've reached a certain age when you're happy that they filled a pothole. You're like, oh, lovely lovely i'm not going to break my car today going over that pothole because just back there there's a width restriction but as you're going through it there was a pothole about this big so you couldn't go around it you had to go through it yeah you couldn't go under it you couldn't go over it you had to go through it Station approach. Okay, that's not... Okay, I think I'm in the wrong place. I thought that was where I was going, but that's not the right name. Where am I going then, station? double check that's where I'm going why are you not working please let it stay station express here we come who doesn't keep gaffer tape in their car this is a very oh no don't want one of my hairs stuck in the tape. It's very good gaffer tape because you can just rip it. You don't have to cut it. When you're in a rush and you just need to gaffer tape <laughs> something really quickly. See, speed. Let's just do that like that. Okay, let's put my hazards on. Open digital label. Let's go. Okay, let's go. And let's get not get hit by the bus. Oh god, I've just realised the combination I've got on. <sighs> my Crocs match my trousers. <laughs> I don't know what I was expecting but you know when you go to somewhere you don't know you're like what could happen here what unknowns are waiting for me inside station express it's 
a bit like life, isn't it? <laughs> no, this is a good little one because it's got a it's got a car space right outside. Well, loading. I suppose I was loading. Is that considered loading? 